All right, I am back. I have completed rounds 12. Let me look at my computer here, 12 through 29. So that was um, exchanging um, rounds, or yes, rounds 10 and 11. And I did do another color change here at the top. Now for round 30, you're going to repeat round 10, but you are not going to change your color, which that's totally up to you if you want to do either way. So I will be finishing mine off in white. Um, so you'll, you're basically going to repeat round 10, which is you're going to join. Then you will do your chain three. All right. And then you're going to uh, do a double crochet in each of the stitches around. Okay. So again, we will end up with our 40 stitches. So you want to do a double crochet in each stitch around and I will meet you back up for um, row 31 and making the eyelet round, okay? So finish this round and I will meet you back up. Alright, so now we've gone all the way around for round 30. Now, 31 is just a little different, okay? Um, we are going to join like we normally would pull through and through all right so to make an eyelet means you're going to make a small gap that way we can thread through our um, strand with our pom-pom that ties around the neck so what we're gonna do we're gonna chain four here one two three and four all right, so what you're going to do is skip the first two stitches and double crochet in the next. So you're going to skip one, two, and then we're going to double crochet in that next, okay? Now what you'll do is chain one and skip the next double crochet, all right? And then you're going to repeat that. So you'll do a double crochet in the next. After you skip that one, you're going to do a double crochet in the next, okay? Chain one skip the next double crochet double crochet in the next chain one skip one and then double crochet chain one skip and then double crochet chain one okay you'll do that and I'll stay here with you and we'll finish this round because it'll go by fairly quickly and I've already tried my bottle of wine in my uh, bag just to make sure it fits properly and it does of course um, this one will probably be going to my mom for a Christmas present part of hers um, me and my daughters will be flying there for Christmas since um, Chris and Andrew are in Iowa so we will be visiting them for the holidays and I will take this to her get her a nice bottle of wine she should like that <clears throat> okay so the purpose of this is to give you a little bit of leeway to be able to um, go in and out with our um, tie and that's going to hold our bag shut Okay, so we're just skipping every other double crochet, double crocheting in the next, and doing a chain one, which is important. Okay, we're almost at the end. Do that last chain one. All right, now we're going to join with a slip stitch right up there into that third stitch of that chain four that we did. All right, now you're gonna turn and rows 32, 33, and 34 are gonna be the same. So we're gonna chain three. And all we're gonna do here is just go around and make three solid rows of double crochet. Okay, so um, you're gonna chain three and you'll skip the first double crochet. Okay, and um, you'll double crochet in each double crochet around and that's pretty much what you're gonna do so um, 
you're just going to skip the first one and go in that second one. All right, so just uh, do that all the way around. And you will also, let me take that one back out. Believe, let me look. Okay, it's a little bit um, deceiving because it does say here double crochet in each double crochet around and jo join. So I'm not sure what they want you to do with the chain one, but I will be going in the chain ones as well because it wouldn't make much sense to do it otherwise. So just go ahead, I believe, and put um, a double crochet in each double crochet and chain one space. And as soon as that's done, I'll meet you right back up. Okay, we are back. I have completed those three solid rounds. You're now going to join up there in that uh, third um, stitch that uh, in the top of the um, three that we did originally. You're going to join there and you're going to fasten off. Okay, that is going to be complete and then you can go ahead and weave in as much as you feel you need to with your end string here. Looking good so far. Okay, now for the next part, we will be working on our tie. So we're going to put that aside and I'm going to use green. So what you're going to do is pick your color. You're going to start a new chain. You are going to chain 75 and then you're going to slip stitch all the way across this entire um, uh, chain of stitches here and then what we will do then is we will weave that in and out of where we did our one double crochet skip one double crochet so we will weave that in and out there we will also make our pom-poms so what you need to go ahead and do is with whatever color you choose to use go ahead and chain 75 then you'll slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and do that all the way across okay so you're just going to start chaining and uh, when you get to 75 then you'll just start slip <laughs> slip stitching back across all the way to the end you will then um, disconnect with your yarn and then we will do the pom-poms alright meet you back up Okay guys, sorry about that. I had a visitor so I had to run off real quick and I apologize. So we are back. Um, so now what you do is you tie this. You're going to tie that a total of three times. Alright, so we are going to clip those down. Okay, and you still have these two which we will tie on to our uh, tie. So you're going to take your scissors you're going to cut through all those loops. Okay? Do the other side the same way, just don't uh, don't cut that strand if you can help it. Um, well, that's not it, but maybe it was it. Huh, we'll get it worked out. Okay? So just cut all through your strands like this. And if you find you have to even it up, then you can do so. So if you find yourself with one end, I will show you what to do since that's the case. Go ahead and thread through, bring your piece back, and do the same thing. Go about an inch back, pull that through, okay? And what you're going to do at this time, at this point, is you can grab one from one or two of the little um, strands of yarn. Whoops. Alright guys, sorry about that. I am back. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take that yarn and you're going to tie that like this. Tie it twice. Okay, and I had already did this. So what you're going to do is you're going to snip along 
um, your uh, loops and you're just going to snip them okay and then you're just going to go back and do the same thing that we did on the first one and like I said I do have a video for uh, pom pom makers you can go back and view that if you like and you're going to come about an inch back and do the same process that we did on the other side okay so now we're just going to triple tie this we want to double enforce all of our work all right and you will just cut that down to size all right so now with that complete we will stick our bottle in and you will see sorry guys my camera's not uh, spaced far enough back to do that but anyway so then what you're going to do is you're just going to tie that you can tie it in a bow you can tie it in a knot and there we have our bottle maker our bottle maker sorry guys I had that on my mind we have our bottle cover let me see if I can get this up a little higher for you to see there we go and um, usually wine bottles sometimes are taller than this but here lately they seem to be making shorter bottles so um, this fits perfectly it still has a little room in it also for give if um, you want to put a uh, fatter bottle in it if you need to so anyways this is our um, holiday um, spirit bottle bag and you can do it in any color you like and I do hope you enjoyed this video until next video happy hooking